Hi, I'm Bob Kendrick, president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, and this is Extra Innings, stories of the Negro Leagues and the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum that you likely never heard. While most baseball fans know the story of Jackie Robinson's breaking of baseball's color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers, a lot of fans are surprised to learn that it actually took 12 years before every major league team had at least one black baseball player. The Boston Red Sox would become the last team to integrate in 1959 when they signed a guy by the name of Elijah Pumpsy Green. That would complete the integration cycle. By 1960, the Negro League ceased operations because by then, the best young black stars had moved into the major leagues or into the minor league system and there was no replenishing system. Larry Doby would move into the major leagues literally just weeks after Jackie Robinson, breaking the color barrier in the American League with the Cleveland Indians. He is almost a forgotten man, but that's how we are in our society. We always celebrate the first. We rarely ever acknowledge the second. It is almost like who was the second man to land on the moon. And obviously, if you're number 16, you can pretty much forget it. That's the reason why we've created a wonderful exhibition called Barrier Breakers. The Barrier Breaker exhibit will chronicle all of those players who broke their respective major league team's color barriers, from Jackie Robinson through Pumpsy Green because they should be more than just a footnote in baseball history. Their pathway to the major leagues were just as contentious as it was for Jackie, and they should all be celebrated. And through this wonderful, compelling exhibition, Barrier Breakers, we acknowledge and tip our cap to all of them who helped foster in a way for others to play the game that they love.